myself longing for change and in the bad times I fear myself Hello. What the f guys? <laughs> oh sh Hello, I'm Cameron. I'm Zach. I'm Josh. I'm Paul. And I'm Dayton. And we are <laughs> the, the Film Nerds! College now, Division. So, today we are talking about A Star is Born. The reason we're creating this review now is because this movie is a very controversial issue amongst this friend group. Yes. yes. We're gonna see what happens. So, uh, A Star is Born is about a older musician named Jackson Maine who is going through a lot of his own personal problems. And then he meets and falls in love with a new singer named Allie. And it's basically just about how how she rises, his life is like come comes crashing down. Our seating arrangement today kind of reflects our thoughts on the movie. Yeah. It kind of goes from like the least to like the best. Oh, perfect length. No, it's not. Uh, amazing music. Top notch yeah. acting off the chain. Sam Elliott is great. There's a He's scene great, with yeah. him in a car that is. Oh! Lady Gaga was mediocre. So no. I thought she was good. No. She was she was good for the role. Like yeah, you could have replaced was... her with anyone else. On the That's film. fair. Yeah. Speaking about the acting, one of my favorite parts of this whole film is anytime Bradley Cooper and Sam Elliott have a scene together. Bradley Cooper's just doing a Sam Elliott impression to Sam Elliott's face, and it's very funny to watch. <laughs> you sold Dad's ranch? Who gave you the right? He washed away in a fucking storm. You think I can take care of you and the farm at the same time? Go. Yeah. My biggest issue with this movie, though, is that I liked their chemistry, and they were a good couple. But it's so obvious from the very beginning that their relationship is doomed. Yeah, and so I completely the disagree. The really? Completely. No. Within ten minutes of them no. meeting, I was like, this is not going to be yeah. a healthy relationship. I like that that's the way it goes, because that's not just typical, hey, <laughs> we're together in the oh, end. Yeah, I like, like that's where it went. Yeah. But well, I, I don't just that's where it went, but I knew it was where it was going. I think the story is just flawed. The movie feels unfocused, because there's split between two characters they want to focus on. They're like, oh, this character, oh, then this character, oh, then this character. It looked like two different movies that were stitched together. No. Yeah. Well, because I feel like in the second half, she really takes more of a central role than he does. Well, that's exactly what I'm saying. Focus. I don't really think that's, like, a problem, because it's really, well, I mean, it's about Star is Born, it's about her about being that. I think a in star. The second like, half, he takes the role. It, it just doesn't feel balanced or focused. You can still shift perspective. I'm not saying that only has to be one person's perspective. I think that they need to pick something. I just didn't feel that way, like, at all. I was just along for the ride. I think it, that's just how the story unraveled. Like, she took the reins over him, and that's just how the story went. Yeah, I think in the first half, it feels better than the second movie. Or the second movie. The second movie. <laughs> the second movie. <laughs> second movie. Oh, there, there, there is a sequel, a sequel coming. I think it's best if you divide it into three parts. <laughs> uh, yeah. I think the middle's the weakest, the end is the best, and the beginning is good. I agree with the middle being the weakest, but I think the beginning's the best, because I just liked more about seeing that relationship. We're going to spoilers for A Star Is Born. Go to the time code at the bottom of the screen if you want to avoid spoilers. Shoot. Uh After the wedding, I feel like the pacing of it gets very strange. They get married, they're fine for a little while, she's way more successful than he is. And then I think it's a Grammys first. That was really funny because I've heard of rock stars doing that. I found that very I sad. That I, funny. Yeah, I don't think that's really funny. funny. I found it pretty funny. Yeah, because <laughs> it's just like rock stars have done that. They're so destructive of themselves and I hate that people are like that, but it's like... You got up on stage and just peed your pants. That's pretty funny. And then they have heartbreaking scenes to me, like when they're in the bath and they're arguing. Jackson! What were those lyrics about? All about ass. What? What, you don't like my lyrics? Hmm? No. Hmm. Oh, you're just, you're just drunk. Hmm. I'm not drunk. Hey, you wanna be your drinking buddy? Yeah. You're f***ing ugly. What'd you're you just say? ugly. Get the hell out! Get out! What do you guys think? Because you've had to spend the entire <laughs> review basically it. arguing against yes, us. Yes, right. But tell us why you yeah. love it. Yeah. I thought okay. this story was completely heart-wrenching. This was the most emotional I've been in the movie this year. This movie, like, tore me apart. I was so invested into the story. I thought the scene where he peed, like, I can understand why you think that'd be funny. Like, I completely get it. Mm -hmm. But for me, I was just like, 
I kind of just like went like back and forth. I was like, oh, I think the relationship's gonna be good. Oh, I don't know, it might be bad. Yeah. And then when, he, then when he went to rehab, I was like, oh, I think this is gonna be great. That was a moment where I was like, oh, and maybe, then he, maybe it will come yeah. out. And then that conversation with the agent. With, oh. When you see, oh, no, like, gosh, that scene, oh, like, I will very much say, broke my heart. Because that's when he realizes I'm holding the person I love back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I hate that. I really like what you got Allie doing right now. It's good stuff. <laughs> Can you show me? Okay. Since the entire movie, I felt like it was obvious that their relationship was going to fail. Once he went to rehab and started to get better, that's when I became super interested in it again. That's because I, I had no idea what was going to happen. Mm -hmm. Because it's the most unpredictable. No, I agree with that. I'd say, thinking of it that way, mm. the ending is definitely the best. I love the way Bradley Cooper filmed the concert scenes. So many movies will film concert scenes as though they're almost putting on a performance for mm -hmm. the audience. Yeah. But Funny he films do. them from behind yeah. mm -hmm. and doesn't really cut, so it feels like you're on stage with them. This Great. is the concert scene from the performer's point of view. This is a difficult one, because I did like it, though I did say my issues with it. I still think it's a good movie. I wouldn't watch it again. A seven is probably what I give this. Because it's a good movie, I think people should see it. Probably just because it's going to be talked about for the next thirty years. But it's going to switch places. Yeah. I feel like Paul's going to be lower. Yeah. If you don't know it, go see it. If you know everything that's going to happen, save yourself two and a half hours. Bag times is about that length, and I think that's a really good time. Like, oh. This movie is just pretty standard until the end. It felt predictable. It felt um, Hello, darkness, not my old friend. The ending scene is probably the best scene in the movie with just the right amount of emotional swell. I will give it uh, yeah, six out of ten. Blasphemy. <laughs> you need to wash out your mouth. A Star is Born had a lot of ups and downs for me. I thought it was a pretty predictable story, so the less interesting scenes in the middle dragged even longer than I feel like they should have, but I think the beginning is really good, and I think the ending is phenomenal. I will say, even though it does have its problems, it is worth it because of the performances. I think they're really good. I think mm. the directing's really good. The singing's really good. Overall, it's a good movie. I like the story. It's not the best movie to tell that type of story. I think La La Land did it better, but I still enjoyed it. I'll give it a seven. I really didn't have many huge problems with this movie, to be honest. I think that it was pretty fluid throughout. I don't think the pacing went down at all. I thought the performances were off the chain. Incredible. <laughs> I thought that the emotional weight to this movie was huge. It tore me to pieces in the theater, and I think that you should see it in the movie theater if you still can. I'm gonna give it a 9.5 out of 10. All right. This movie is incredible. I think this story just flows. I was in it from the beginning. Bradley Cooper, Lady Gaga, just incredible like chemistry, and maybe I'm just a little biased because I love couples in movies, but Mm. Sam Elliott is a, probably a lock for nominated for Best Sporting Actor. The scene in the car, can we all agree? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I <laughs> cried so much in this movie. And it was just after like it ended, it just really stuck with me. And I just really felt it because I was so into it the whole time. And I can think of, I really don't have any flaws with the movie. So I'm going to give it a 10. It's a 7.9. What did you think of A Star is Born? Because God knows we can't agree on this. So maybe you guys can help us. We've been arguing about this since the movie came out. We've had these arguments over <laughs> multiple times, and now we just filmed it. Oh. So, be sure to like and subscribe, let us know what you thought, follow our Instagram account, follow my Letterboxd account. See you guys, peace out. Peace. Bye bye!